هلو السلام عليكم أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا فيكم In today's lesson we are going to study the question about the name and answering it السؤال عن الاسم والإجابة عليه So let's go I believe it's good to start this lesson with studying the logic of forming a question in Arabic If I would like to ask about the name in English we can form the questions What is my name? What is our name? What is your name? etc. if it's singular. Or, what are my names? What are our names? What are your names? etc. if it's plural. So, we used in both cases the verb to be matched the pronoun in the time tense because in English a phrase cannot be formed without clearly facing a verb in it, even if it's a question. This is not the same concept in Arabic. First, you need to know the verb to be in present simple time tense in Arabic is normally hidden. So, there is no need to use the verb to be to ask about a name in Arabic except some other scenarios, but here in this scenario, we are just simply asking about the name. Now, we left with basically three words to be able to form the question about the name in Arabic. First, the interrogative verb, what? Second, the noun, name, or names, and third, the possessive pronouns that needed to be conjugated to the word name or names. Okay, now we will see how to conjugate the possessive pronouns to the word name. The possessive pronouns, tamair al milkiya. The conjugation of the possessive pronouns, idafat tamair al milkiya. The word name is ism. So now we know a name is ism. This is the singular format. The plural format is asma, names. In Arabic, it's so important to know the format of the plural from the singular noun and if this is feminine or masculine on both levels. Sometimes you find a singular is masculine and the plural is feminine, sometimes the opposite. And sometimes they come similarly, like Feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine. But you definitely need to check that every time you learn a word to build up your background about the nouns very slowly from the beginning. And knowing this, it will make the flow easier when you learn the language more and more, building up your vocabulary. The other tip that would help you if you don't know if a word or you forgot if it's masculine or feminine, just look at the end of it without having any suffixes or anything built on it. Just check the end of the noun on its main shape. If it's ending up with alif, hamza, or ta, either ta maftuha or ta marbuta, that's high likely to be feminine. In this case, we ended up with mim in the singular format, so high likely to be masculine. For the word asma, which is the plural format of name, we are actually ending up with hamza. So that means high likely to be feminine. In this case, it's true. Ism, the singular format of a name, is masculine, while asma, the plural format, is feminine. So now let's move on to the conjugation of the possessive pronouns to each of them. The possessive pronouns, they are consistent along the nouns. The only thing you need to know that how to add each pronoun to the word. Here we have my name first, so ismi. The letter ya at the end of the word, it means my. So my name ismi. We add the possessive pronoun at the end of the word. Ismuna, our name. Na, ismuna. Then ismuk, your name. Ismuk, your name. If you is one person. If your is more than one person, so it becomes ismukum, your name for a group of people. Or if you want to be formal, ismukum. In this case, these are used to a masculine you, okay? For the feminine, it's so similar, but a little bit different. Ismuk, your name, for feminine. But what makes it different from ismuk to masculine? If we don't want to move the ka, which is presenting your, it can be both feminine or masculine. But if we would like to move it, we say ismuka to masculine, ismuki 
to feminine. Okay, what about the plural? Your. Your name is Mukun or is Mukun. It depends on the dialect or the modern standard. But honestly, in most of today's spoken dialects, we use ismuk without moving, or if we move it, we can use ismuka ismuki. For the plural format of your, most of the time we use either ismukum or ismukun. And even some Arab dialects, they just drop the M and N at the end, and they just replace it with ko, like ismuko, instead of ismukum or ismukun. I don't want to make it very complicated now, just let's move on, but keep this information in your notebook. So, his name, ismo, just ha, this is ha at the end of the word, right? Ismo, his name. Their name, to masculine, ismuhum. What about feminine format? Her name, ismu ha. Their name, if they, they're feminine, ismuhun or ismuhun. Okay. The exact possessive pronouns always used in all the cases of all the scenarios for any noun in Arabic. So now let's practice just on the plural format of name, which is names asma. So my names asma'i, our names asma'una or asma'ana, your names asma'uk or Asma'ak or Asma'ik. It depends on grammatically where it is in the sentence. Asma'ukum, Asma'akum, Asma'uki, Asma'aki, Asma'ukum, Asma'akun, Asma'uh, Asma'ah, Asma'eh, Asma'uhum, Asma'ahum, Asma'uha, Asma'iha, or Asma'aha, Asma'ahun, or asma'ahun. Now we know the words name, names in Arabic and how to conjugate the possessive pronouns to each of them. What depth from the question what is your name or so is to know the word what. In a previous lesson we studied almost all the interrogative pronouns in Arabic including what. Here I just would like to review it quickly in standard Arabic. Mada, ma, ma huwa, if it's masculine. Ma here, if it's feminine, so keep that in mind for ism and asma, masculine, feminine, or maladi. This is in the modern standard Arabic. Just not to forget that each one of these has a specific use. Maladi is used only when the sentence or the phrase or the question after it contain a verb. So in this scenario, we will not use it. Then, in modern Arabic dialects, any of these is replaced with one of these. So, ish. Shinu, shu, eh, mahu, or just sh as a, an abbreviation of any of them. It's so important to know that any one of these in any dialect can replace all of these. So today I'm going to use ish, which is in my dialects, the standard Saudi Arabian dialects. Since now we have the collection of words needed to ask a question about the name, so let's do it. First we'll start with the singular format. What is my name? What is our name? And so on and so forth. Let's do it. In the standard Arabic, we will use any of these tools. In the modern dialect Arabic, we just use one of these tools. Depends on the dialect you are learning. So, ma ismi. Ma huwa ismuna. What is our name? Ma huwa ismaka. What is your name to a masculine singular? Ma huwa ismuki to a feminine singular. Ma huwa ismukum, your name, what is your name for plural or formal? Ma huwa ismukun, speaking to plural feminine. Ma huwa ismuh, what is his name? Ma huwa ismuha, what is her name? Ma huwa ismuhum, what is their name to masculine or formal or a group of feminine or masculine but plural? Ma huwa ismuhun or ma huwa ismuhun. This is for the standard Arabic. I can just say ma ismi, ma ismuna, ma ismuk, ma ismik, or mada the same way. Mada ismukum, mada ismukun, mada ismu, mada ismuha, mada ismuhum, mada ismuhun. Now for the modern dialects, which is my delicious part. I'm going to use ish. 
because I'm using it in my own dialects in Saudi Arabia. So, ايش اسمي؟ ايش اسمنا؟ ايش اسمك؟ ايش اسمك؟ ايش اسمكم؟ ايش اسمكم؟ ايش اسمه؟ ايش اسمها؟ ايش اسمهم؟ ايش اسمهن؟ Or, let's use شنو. شنو is so used in the Gulf countries as well. So, شنو اسمي؟ شنو اسمنا؟ شنو اسمك؟ شنو اسمك؟ Let me ask with شو, which is in the Levantine Arabic. In Jordan, Syria, some part of Iraq, some part of Palestine. So, شو اسمي؟ شو اسمنا؟ شو اسمك؟ شو اسمك؟ شو اسمكون؟ شو اسمكون؟ شو اسمه؟ شو اسمها؟ شو اسمهم؟ شو اسمهون؟ Let's ask with the Egyptian one. إيه؟ إيه اسمي؟ إيه اسمنا؟ إيه اسمك؟ إيه اسمك؟ إيه اسمكم؟ So on, so forth. For the شيء, <laughs> I just put it because it's so popular when you speak with a lot of Arabs, you just hear the شو اسمي؟ It's actually إيش or شنو or شو but they just say ش like especially with the young people the they when they are speaking to each other shismik just you just say you just hear ش which is replace all of these okay it's good to know in arabic that the position of the interrogative word or pronoun or tool i prefer to use it as a tool is can be replaced or placed at the answer location so you may hear this ismi ma huwa ismi ماذا؟ But اسمي ما is not possible. That's why I did not put it. Because ما always need a pronoun or a noun after it. That's why we have ما هو possible but not ما ألون or ما ذا. So اسمي ما هو اسمنا ما هو اسمك ما هو اسمك ما هو or اسمكم ماذا اسمكم ماذا so on so forth. The same about any of the modern dialects. So, اسمي إيش؟ اسمك إيش؟ اسمكم إيش؟ اسمهم ما هو؟ This is in Yemeni, most or the south region of Saudi Arabia as well. Some dialects they use ما هو. اسمهم ما هو؟ I think you are saturated with this information and you got it. Let's practice the same with the plural format of names when we ask about the names. So, honestly, it's the exact same way with asking about the name. But just the names instead of the name. And not to forget that names are feminine. So we will not say ma huwa if we are going to use this format. We will use the feminine format which is ma hiya. So ma asma'i, ma asma'una, ma asma'uk, so on and so forth. Or ish asma'ukum, shinu asma'ukum, shu asma'ukum, eh asma'ukum, ma hu asma'ukum, etc. We can also replace the same way, so it becomes Asma'i Mahia, Asma'una Mahia, Asma'uka Mahia, or just asking with Mada instead of Mahia, so Asma'uka Mahia. In that modern dialect, we just say Asma'ukum Ish, Asma'uhum Ish. I'm just speaking up randomly, it's exactly the same way. Okay, now we know how to form the question about the name, but what about the answer? Honestly, it's so easy. It's the exact same concept. So, there is no need to use the auxiliary verb to be in present simple time tense in Arabic, which is normally hidden. And instead of saying my name is Hana, for example, here, I just say in Arabic, my name, Hana. The same about are. When we say my names are, let's say Hana and Maryam, for example, if I have two names, but I have only one name. So, in this case, we just say, my name's Hannah and Miriam, without using the verb to be. And this is how it ends up. So the answer is simply like that. Ismi, and you name what is your name. Ismuna, and name it. Ismuka, Ismuki, Ismukum, and just complete the answer. That's it, no verb. Let's have an example. A quick conversation here to how to use the question about the name and how to answer it. First, I will show the example here to you in a modern standard Arabic tone. Then I will do in some of today's spoken dialects. Let's start. Salam. Wa alaykum salam Lo samahtun. Ma hiya asma'ukum? Asma'una Lara wa Tamara. Wa anti. Ismuki madha? 
It's me, Hana. Now I'm going to repeat the exact example, but in my own dialect, which is the standard Saudi Arabian dialect. So, Salam. Wa alaykum salam. Lau samahtum, ish asma'akum? Asma'ana, Lara, wa Tamara. Wa inti, ismik ish? Ismi, Hana. Next, the same example with Levantine Arabic. Salam. Wa alaykum salam. Lau samahtum? Shu asma'akum? Asma'ana, Lara, wa Tamara. Wa inti, ismik shu? Ismi, Hana. The last example using the Egyptian Arabic. So, Salam. Wa alaykum salam. Lau samahtu. Ih asma'ku. Asma'na Laura wa Tamara. Wa inti ismik eh. Ismi Hana. We finish today lesson. Next lesson we will study careers and professions in Arabic. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumb up if you like it. And find it useful. Share it with friends and family who are interested in learning Arabic. Write in the comment section your opinion and your questions. I will try my best to answer them as soon as possible. Please follow me on my page on Instagram. Learn Arabic with Hannah. Thank you. Shukran. Ma'as salama. Goodbye.